Welcome to the greatest show on earth. And in the center ring today, we have dry goods. We have a lot of different types of dry goods. And let's talk about why you may need dry goods. Now, if you're preparing for a hurricane, a natural disaster, long-term storage, dry goods are perfect for that situation. Now, let's take, for instance, over here, we have some egg noodles, uh, shells, pasta, just regular spaghetti, um, and we have in the show today, macaroni and cheese. Come on people, you all love macaroni and cheese. Who doesn't? Especially your kids. But this stuff, you know, all has a really good shelf life. Now you can take and store these in your Marlar bags with your oxygen absorbers. You just have to really pay attention and do your homework to make sure that you're putting in the correct amount. And I always throw an extra one in with spaghetti because there's a lot more space for air. Now, moving on down the line, um, coffee. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, without coffee uh, in the morning, I'd be like a grizzly bear that just woke up out of the woods and dug my way out of my den. Not a good thing. So you want to make sure you got coffee. If you're not a big coffee drinker, you drink tea, make sure you got tea. There's nothing wrong with a good cup of tea. Next on the line here, we have powdered milk. Now you say, oh my God, I'm not drinking powdered milk. And personally, unless it's a last resort, I won't either. But in a push comes to shove situation, if you can't get regular milk, it's the next best thing. Now I have read online that the, you can take and add like a, um, a tablespoon of sugar to the mixture and it helps sweeten it up and give it a little bit of flavor but if you were serving this to your kids and they were having cereal or something like that uh, they probably wouldn't even really recognize the difference because the, the cereal will you know flavor the milk but it's just something good to have on hand moving on down the line in one of my videos that I have done in this uh, hurricane season um, 2020 series I talked about you know ways to cook uh, with a Coleman stove and I have a Coleman oven that goes over the stove so you make sure you got some oatmeal you know if you have the flour and everything you can make oatmeal bread uh, you can make oatmeal muffins you can do all this kind of stuff and you're getting something good and healthy for you and your family just by having a few things uh, the next thing on the list instant mashed potatoes you know you just need a little bit of water and a little bit of butter and some water and you have potatoes to have with whatever you could be cooking um, we go great with you know I just did a video series on the hurricane season here and in that one I talked about the canned meat to have on hand just on the chance that things go longer than two or three weeks and say your generator runs out of gas and you no longer have your frozen meats and stuff in your freezer because you either had to cook them or they went bad. So moving on down the line, you have stove top that's very simple. All you need is a little water and boom, there you go. It's filling because it's a bread product. You may want to have some breadcrumbs on hand too because you, you can use those in different situations. Ah, pancakes. Everybody likes pancakes. Now, have pancake mix on hand. You know, uh, I would also suggest having, say, maple syrup to go along with those pancakes. Oh, don't buy Aunt Jemima. Buy the good stuff. The Aunt Jemima, that's just imitation. It's, it's wrong. But pancake mix, you can also use that as a batter or something. If you want to fry up some meat or chicken or something like that, pork chops, you can make a batter out of pancake mix. And next thing you know, you're good to go. So, you know, we've got uh, the beans down here, uh, go along with some rice. Now, I just brought this up because it was very handy. Um, you know, I do buy rice and then put it up <clears throat> in Marlar bags or I vacuum seal it. Uh, this is just in our everyday pantry, just makes it nice and easy. They come in pouches, you just drop them in boiling water and 10 minutes, you got rice. You can also get... Uh, I love the yellow rice, Spanish rice, any of those. 
Uh, so you know you can take the beans and the rice and make yourself up a dish and you'd be good to go. Now a lot of these products and everything else, you know, right now trying to get some of this stuff is very difficult to do. I have done a video on that to try to get you uh, around some of the limitations. Um, but, you know, if you keep going, if you go to the stores early in the morning, you're going to find that you can get in and get the best deal, you know, and maybe get different products. You wait till late in the day, you're, you know, it's like fishing, you know, the early, the early bird gets the worm, you know what I mean? So, in the greatest show on earth today, the center stage was dry goods, and I would just like to say thank you everybody for watching my video series on Hurricane Season 2020. My name is Charles, Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'll spit it out. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the dark side of the moon.